hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel on today's lesson we are going to look at um, the seed bagging so before we dive uh, in on the coding part ensure that you go you go through the provided material that is the debugging and the rubber duck the rubber duck debugging and uh, as you can see, you can see the definition of uh, the debugging. Okay, down here we have the quiz. I hope that uh, if at all you have already done, uh, gone through the provided material, you will find the quiz quite easy. For example, for number one, the following code gives this output. What is the error? And the error is supposed to be this one. You want to assign J a new value not to compare it so it should be j is equal to j and it is in number one that's zero number question zero question one look at the following code in the main uh, c file on what is the the first error that compiled the return is supposed to be 11 then number two this code does not work as intended let had uh, print f statement to the code what is the function do the tell us about uh, and this is supposed to be print f statement shows the break and the print f statement shows when the for loop is finished then lastly number three the following code give this incorrect output which is the following statement about is causing the error it's true and this is supposed to be j never increments so it is always going to print zero and j never increments so it will always be less than 10. okay so it's a very simple part on that so if you take time and go the, the material you'll find the work quite easy for you okay back to this one remember the general requirement you are allowed to use the vi vim and emacs then uh, all your file will be compiled uh, using the GCC, and uh, lastly, all you need to shoot, all the files should end up with a new line. Okay, and also note this one: a readme file at the root of a repo contains the description of the repo story, and readme file at the root of the folder of this project, describing what this project is about. Okay, let's go to our question number one. Question number one is uh, in most projects, we often give one main file to test. For example, the main file is to test for positive or negative function similar to the one you have worked with in a earlier project. Okay, so for this one, this is, this is our GitHub repository which is alx low level programming then our directory is supposed to be 003 debugging and the first file 0 main c or main dot h so we had already created uh, this uh, repo and uh, also managed to you had uh, the readme Okay, sorry for that. Okay, so the next part, let me go to my to my sad box. And already opened my sad sad box. So let me see what is inside. So we had already created uh, this one, the low level, this one. Therefore, for us to open that uh, directory, we the repository cd alx so then you use the tab okay let's see what is inside the our ls so do we have i had already created the uh, this one which is now the 0, 0, 003 debugging then we have the readme as per the instruction okay let's go ahead and uh, try to to create this directory so directory 
then uh, make directory okay let me try to change the name because it, ex it already exists so let me use uh, two but ensure that you follow the instruction as per the requirement okay let me see what's happened okay so this is now the the new one that has already that i've already created okay let me try to open it so we have the cd copy this one okay let me see what is inside I think I've opened the wrong one. Okay, let me redo again. CD is supposed to have a two. Okay, okay the CD is supposed to have two. What is happening? Let me see. Supposed to be CD. No file, no such file exists. Okay, let me see. Okay, I made a mistake somewhere. Let me let me let me go back okay i hope that you're still following so i'm supposed to open this one okay let me copy it copy cd paste okay let me see what is inside remember it's now empty so our our directory 003 debug 2 is an empty one now remember the rule, we are supposed to read me, therefore, vi read me dot mp. Okay, most of the cases I give uh, this one as the message of, as message, the, the task name. And our task is c debugging it bagging okay cool. then we have that one okay i think uh, we have done the the main part so the next part so we go to i've already done, done up to this level now let's now go to the main edge so copy this one copy b b i b i then let me see insert okay copy okay i, I will uh, i will share with you the code that i've already prepared so you don't have to worry so these the codes support with h h okay this one so copy this one then paste Okay, go to the next part. This one. Copy. Let me paste. Enter. Insert. Go to this part. And uh, copy this, this one.
Okay, next to front, go to the Bezel, BI, copy, then we have VI. Then on this one, you, you copy this section from uh, this point. To this point. Okay. Now, having done that, the next step is to move to so number one. Under our number one, we have uh, the name of the file is uh, one main. To see, copy. Then uh, Okay, let me try to enlarge, supposed to be copy, paste, enter, then I'll copy the code. Insert, then paste, escape, color, WQ. Okay, move to the next part. Our next part is, um, let me see, okay. To large is the number. Okay, then I'll paste that part, insert, let me get my codes, which I will share with you. You don't have to worry how to go about uh, the codes, also the, the typing. Copy, then I'll paste, escape, Call on the queue. Then the next part. Next part, uh, uh, which is now our last assignment, it's supposed to be the leap year. This program converts our data to the date of the year and determines how many days are left in the year, taking leap year into consideration. So let me go to the name. So I'll copy this part. Then I paste. Enter, insert. Let me try to get my code. So I'll copy from uh, this point. Copy and uh, I will paste. Okay, escape WQ. So I think uh, we have done uh, the three tasks that you are supposed to do. Okay, then, so the next step, you can try to check what is inside, inside your directory. So these are the files that we have. We have uh, zero main C, one main C, two largest C, three print remaining. 
main C, main H, and then main. they're supposed to be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In fact, they are seven. Okay, having done that, the next step is to get hard, ignore those other parts. But if at all you wish now to create uh, these other, these other ones that uh, we have been told to, to, for example, for this one, you can create this one if you wish to do. But uh, if you feel like ignoring, it will not affect uh, your rating. You can also as well as uh, create that other one and also this other one. Okay, so let's get back to my terminal. Okay, so you git, git hard, then uh, git commit, git commit, then the message may be debugging. Then I'll close that one. Then git push. So I think I'm through. So the next step, go back to, to your task and try to check whether you've done the correct thing. So if you follow the instruction, as I've listed them, you'll find that the task will be very simple for you. Okay, before I forget, I will share this one with you. So check on uh, my description. You will see the this link so that you can have a shorter time getting uh, the content from this point. Okay, so thank you for taking time to watch this video. I know and also believe that uh, you have gotten something from uh, the whole thing. So kindly don't forget to, to comment, to like, and also to share with your friends. And lastly, and not the least, also do subscribe. Have a lovely day. So I will take some few minutes for you to show you through this one.